down to your feet and make sure that your feet are hip width distance. And all ten toes are pointing straight ahead. If you're not sure, see that your outer heels are lining up with the pinky edge side of your feet. And then draw the tailbone down towards the mat so your belly zip. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Now, for those of you with tight shoulders, you can just stay with your arms extended as they are. If you have the openness, clasp the hands, wrap the fingers, and steeple your index fingers. If you're pulling out from your shoulders, relax the shoulders down and extend your elbows straight. Take a full breath in, press your hips to the right, and reach your fingers to the left. Now, if you're not pressing your hips out, and you're just doing this, you're like the leaning tower of Pisa. We want more of a seat. Press the hips out. Reach the fingertips forward. Inhale, come up. Take it right to the other side. Press the hips now to the left. Reach the fingers to the right. Draw your right hip back. Inhale, come up. If you can keep your fingers in your waist, stay here. If you need a break, release your fingers and take a medium step back with your left leg so that you're just on the fall of your foot. We're going to move to warrior three. Bend into your front knee. Look to the lines on the floor. That will help. As you bend into your front knee, lift back like straight up and straighten your front leg, bringing your torso square to the floor. Roll the outer left hip down and sparkle the toes on that left foot. Keep the belly lifting. Reach your fingertips to the floor and kick your left foot high to the sky. If you need to come onto your blocks, come onto the blocks. Practice gentleness to yourself first. Draw your right thigh back. Draw the left hip towards the floor. Take your right hand if you have that mobility behind your right calf. Slowly drawing forehead towards shin. Spread the toes. Release the fingertips. Put a bend into your front knee. Step yourself backwards to downward facing dog. We 